so here we are on our load screen again and you can see that uh, graphic issue there around the hips there of this girl and down at the knee you can see a problem uh, I'm not sure maybe the hand that left hand might be messed up but anyway you can see definitely some problems where the body type is not matching what's being used um, so that's going to be an issue. It won't cause you to crash. It's just going to look weird. Um, that, uh, you know, that appearance there is not the worst thing in the world. But uh, you can easily get rid of that by not using CBBE or by making sure everything you use is CBBE. But if you want to keep, I'm going to assume most of the things you have are really not CBBE specific in this load order so I'm going to assume that we could probably drop that and you would be just as well off but um, I'm not going to do that right now here we're trying to resolve Breeze Home so what we've done is I've reloaded back to the start in alternate start this is why I made so many saves we're going to not be the owner of Breeze Home instead we're going to be a patron of the Bannered Mayor. We will not own We will not own Breeze Home and probably if we get the key and go in there without all the upgrades the house will be as uh, the modder intended it to be. Because they said what you do for their version of Breeze Home is that you just buy the house you don't purchase any of the upgrades and you let it go at that. So we can get the key from the cheat room, which we will do, and then we'll pop back down. Now we may experience a crash or something else. We'll just have to take it. I'm just trying to take one issue at a time. We'll do the best we can. We may not run across every issue. I may not find every issue. Um, I'm thinking seriously what I probably need to do to really test this out is just reorganize everything and start a new player and just turn on maybe 10 mods at a time and until I until I hit some threshold you know or have some trouble but uh, for now let's see what we do here okay so Conan here he's alright I don't know if he has much of anything he has his stuff, I guess. He has, oh, he has an axe. Let's equip that. No, I don't want to favorite that. Oh my goodness. Yeah, I don't really, I don't really like this menu. <laughs> As you can tell, I'm like kind of grumped with it. I don't really like it very much. Um, let's just do the silver necklace and the silver ring. We might use those. We have some interesting stuff. Alright, so this is before or after I've already looked at all this other stuff. So let's just move on. Um, I'm going to actually change it up and go first person. I think that'll suit me a little better. Now your fire looks much more like a fire, I have to say. There's nobody here, though. This is kind of strange. I usually have more people. What time of day is it? It's 10 a.m. Hmm. All right, maybe everybody's busy. So we're going to do a quick save here, and we're going to pop out. Oh, that... Okay. Okay, seems okay. Let's see, what is this? Is this from, I think this is from Conan too. This is supposed to be that snake dagger. Yep, so I think a lot of stuff is from the Conan uh, mod, which is cool. I think for the Conan mod though, you probably need to drop the CBBE. We'll probably have to switch it up and go to a UMP uh, body instead. There are several versions that you can use. That would work very well, um, since the I didn't look at the Conan mod really extremely closely. I'm not sure which mod, which body it's using. It looks like it's using 
like UNP or something, maybe UNPB. It you know, doesn't look like it's using anything outrageous. And so we should be able to uh, to handle that fairly easily. And I may need to make some changes like that to get everything working and looking correctly. Um, that means there may be some things, though, if you have something that is only CBB specific, there may be. All right, now we just crashed going through this door going out to White Run. I'm going to try it again. Let's see if it crashes on us again or if it's going to get us out there. Just bringing you along so you can see what's going on. If we crash again, if I can't really get around town at all, then I'm going to have to uh, go ahead and just start working on fixing this load order. And I won't spend a lot of time doing testing right now because, well, because it won't really be feasible. Um, nonetheless, let's give it. Let's give it a minute. Let's give it a whirl. Um, we can do some different things um, if we need to. If this doesn't work, then we will, like I said, I will start working on the load order. There's some different things that I noticed that probably need to be fixed right away anyway. So. And I'm not really thrilled with the menus, but I'll at least keep that in as long as, as, long as that's not causing the crashes, which it doesn't seem to be. The menus act up a little bit, they glitch, and it's not exactly right, but uh, it does seem like it's okay, mainly usable. And when I say it glitches, it just seems like the cursor or the um, highlighted item is not shown correctly or is off screen sometimes or... All right, so I thought we could at least test this game a little bit, but we can't even walk around in White Run, so I can't really test anything or try anything. So I'm going to go ahead and just start working on um, correcting the the load order and some of the things that should allow it to work, and then moving from there. I just don't think everything is going to be 100% viable, but, you know, we'll see what we can do. We'll do as much as we can. Uh, not everything here is bad or wrong, but I think there's definitely some things that are causing some issues, and maybe we can, we can fix that up. But I think the first thing we need to do is get some things in the correct order. I think, uh, I think there's some... Uh, there's a lot of dialogue stuff going on here, and that may be the problem. It could be that with all the dialogue stuff that some of this isn't going to work. I mean, we have the immersive citizens with the realistic conversations. Then we have RDO, the realistic dialogue overhaul. And it may just be too much. So I'm going to take and I'm going to do <clears throat> some of this stuff is fine. I'm not going to mess with some of it. Um, but we're going to rearrange some things and change some things. It could be as simple as, <clears throat> I haven't tried this, but it could be as simple as the sound, the sounds of Skyrim might be a problem. It could be that simple. So, you know, we'll have to try some different things and see, um, see what we get. I, I, from what I'm looking at on these mods, these two are definitely out of order, and then there's then you have to consider the cutting room floor, which needs to be um, handled differently. So, do they even list that here? I'm not sure if they list that here. Let's see if they do. Um, yeah, and it should be this should be under. You know, it could be. Anyway, I'll have to sit and figure it out. It could be, see, they want RDO to be near the bottom, and it should be under Immersive Citizens. But one of the one of the things was showing that the cutting room floor should be below RDO, but I don't think that's possible. I don't even think that makes good sense now that I think about it. So anyway, <clears throat> we're going to take a look at this and see, I think... 
think immersive. I think immersive followers had to was supposed to be below relationship dialogue. Hmm. I will look further into that because now I'm. I've looked at so many different things. Now I could be confusing it. So let me do that. I'll take a look at everything and see what we can find out. Uh, but anyway, I'm going to look at reordering this and see if we can get things to work. Because I don't think this is working exactly like this, okay? All right, so um, for you, hopefully be back shortly. Uh, for me, it's going to be a while. If I think of something interesting, I will show you that. Um, now, realize that this still has that conflict with CBBE and a UNP, so some appearances are not going to be correct unless I correct that. And I might do that, but uh, we'll see. All right, so. All right, so. I'll see you in a bit. All right, so here's another screen from uh, the Conan mod. That guy looks kind of messed up, doesn't he? But anyway, um, trying to make him look like Conan, that's not too bad. Better than I could do. <laughs> so we're just going to try to load up and see. I've rearranged everything. I changed a few things that I believe needed to be changed. Anyway, we're going to see if we can progress and get out of here. It looks like everything is okay. I did a reset, so it should be all right. You know, I've been working on this all day today, so hopefully we're getting somewhere. Just going to do a new save and take us out. Let's see if we can get into Whiterun. We haven't been able to so far. And if we can't, then I'll start a new character and we'll just start testing a few mods at a time till we find the problems and then we'll fix them as we go. Now in fixing the problems it may mean that we just turn them off and play on without them. I don't know. We'll see how that goes. Maybe we can find what mod is conflicting with what if that's what's going on. But uh, hopefully everything will be at least better now. There's Excuse me, there's so many little tweaks in the game with all the different mods, which I've done that before too, and it's just a lot of, a lot of little changes. And a lot of little gameplay changes, so. Alright, so, um, since, you know, I'm doing what I always tell people not to do. I, I basically have downloaded this whole load order, and I've tried it, and I've rearranged it, and I've tried it. And it's crashing. I can't even get out the door of the bannered mayor. So, because I'm trying to test the whole thing all at once, and that's not, like I always say, that's not going to work. I was hoping in this case it might work if these, but I think from this load order, there's just so many little tweaks and game changes and stuff. You know, I'm not sure if this, this game will ever work as it is. I've already actually eliminated a couple of things. Um, one that was unnecessary and, and one that, uh, I think we've added one that we had to have. So, but nonetheless, so what I'm going to do, you notice all the mods are turned on. I'm going to turn them all off. I'm not going to delete them, I'm going to disable them. Now remember, this doesn't affect your storage at all. All this does is tell the game, this is this creates like a little, we're maintaining like a little list, and pardon me, I, I've snacked a little bit because I was hungry, it's, you know, I've been working on this all day. Anyway, um, all we're doing is maintaining a list that tells Skyrim what to load. You know, what to load it and what order to load it in so that you can overlay certain values with values underneath. And that's the logic that you have to use. Now, a couple of things I absolutely need for us to 
do any more testing. So there's a few mods I'm going to turn on, and we're going to make sure we have those turned on, okay? And that is we're going to have alternate start turned on, so I don't have to go through the craziness. We're going to have our XP32 skeleton. I'm not even going to use the color patches, though I don't think there's any harm in that. I'm not going to turn on any of these other mods yet. Though I'll tell you, the embers and the fire effects really look cool. <laughs> Someone has won me over to that. I may have to add that to my <laughs> to my game. Anyway, um, so there's a lot of cool stuff here, but I want to make sure we get certain things and that we can at least move around with those things, okay? Now I am going to do a reset between all of these tests. So I got alternate start, I got XP32, I've got the main patch on. I want the cheat room. That's what it is. Now don't pay any attention to this. Well, don't pay too much attention to this load order. This is just my initial. I'm throwing it all together and let's do the best we can <laughs> load order, okay? Um, because this is my first re kind of evaluation and reordering of everything. Okay, because to me, the way I think about things, um, a lot of these little game tweaks and changes, they just need to occur up here. And, uh, you know, it's, it's a bunch of little things. Some of it is, some of it's just little logical changes, but then some of it is pretty big. Um, let's move up here. And I'll show you a couple of big ones. Uh, there is the true hybrid is a big one. The convenient horses is pretty big. Even the placeable statics is a little big. Um, but everything else is just, these are just little game changes and little tweaks. You know, they don't really need to be their own little thing. They just, you know, this, as long as you're not doing the same thing, as long as you're not, you know, replacing each other and messing with each other, you should be okay. Now, I do question the Bible Golden Claw. Because we're doing other stuff with merchants, that may end up being an issue. Now, it's a very simple mod, though, so it might be able to, you know, sneak in. Because um, we are doing this, and wasn't there something else? Anyway, the, the something else I didn't think was anything major either. So, I did get rid of the one... Um, kill move mod that was seemed to be a duplicate because we already have let me show you we already have this and the other mod the third mod was actually one of the mods that this includes so I didn't see any reason to keep that so and I'm sure I'm sure the person doing this load order probably didn't mean to to do that to download a kind of a duplicate um, but then some of these things, like here we have seriously overstocked merchandise with gold, um, merchants, you know, with more merchandise and gold. That's why I say I'm not sure if the Golden Claw is going to break that or if that's going to mess up the Golden Claw. The Golden Claw is down here, so you might win out. You know, you might be able to have both. But I'm not 100% sure we're going to find out. Okay, so anyway, I need the minimum of the mods I've turned on to test and make sure that this game is working. So I have the major patch. I should have the cheat room on. Yes, I have the cheat room on. I should have alternate star on. Alternate star and my XP32 skeleton. Everything else can wait until we try that. Okay. Now, the reason storefront is down low is because in the patch, they say the load order should be JK Skyrim, the, the storefront patch, and then storefront. So I moved it down here with the patches. I like to keep my patches low so I can keep track of where they are and make sure they're below where they should be below, you know? Now... The rest of these mods we will deal with. Um, this too is this is I'm I'm treating this as a patch. I could I guess I could move it up. Actually, now that I think about it, I'm wrong. This should not be down in the patches. What am I doing? That should be. This should really be up in the game changes. I, I apologize. See, my mind sometimes 
When you have so much to try to process, sometimes you mess up. And I think I did. Because there's no reason that I can think of. I'll look at the mod description again and make sure. But I think, I think this will be fine. In the game changes, some simple mod, da 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 delete. Yeah, it just removes some things. They tried to remove some shadows and stuff. So I'm not going to put it all the way down at the bottom. You can, but I don't know. I just don't know. Uh, you know, because it doesn't tell me what it does, that's the problem. I kind of agreed with it being at the bottom. You know what? I guess we'll... Hmm, that's such a hard decision. Okay, I'm going to put it back down at the bottom. We'll treat it like a patch, even though... I don't know. I don't trust it because I don't know what it's really doing. And it claims, you know, oh, it's an FPS improver. And I'm skeptical of such things. Sorry, but I am. It's just, 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 just me. So I'll treat it as a patch, and I'll put it in with the patches. I'll put it back where it was, but I just, I don't know about that. Okay, now we'll turn on these other patches as needed um, as we go. Um, you know, or maybe we'll turn on these patches as part of the first go-around. Because even if you don't, well, I, I the patch could cause trouble if you don't have the mods on. So <clears throat> maybe we'll try. I was just going to start at the top and come down. But I think if we turn on one of the mods, we have to turn on the patches that go with it. So we'll see about that. All right. Okay, so I'm going to get out and do a reset, and I'm going to come back in, and we're just going to make sure that the game is working, even with just these uh, required, what I figure feel are needed mods, just to be able to test, okay? So we're just going to go in and make sure we can create somebody and go uh, walk around... Um, white run or something like that just something real fast so all right i'll be back in a minute all right so i've come in with just the mods we mentioned being turned on and i'm creating a new guy and we're just going to call him conan again we're going to stick with our conan theme and we're going to just gradually add mods to the game until we get it the way we want it. Now this may or may not be the way that the original person had it. So uh, Thomas, uh, if, if the game ends up being different, <laughs> it's just because you know sometimes some mods are incompatible and you just can't use them together and you have to make choices. So and you know really I would suggest always that you test just a few mods at a time I'm probably going to start by doing about 10 at a time and seeing how we go. But first, I want to get out of here and get into White Run and make sure that we're able to walk around. And I want to go to the cheat room and enable some map things. So, Mara, 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 Mara. Let's see. Let's do a, let's do a save. And I'm going to do a load. I don't think there's anything that really requires me to do a load, but I'm going to do it to be safe. Okay, that made no impact because we don't have but three or four mods running. All right, so let's go. Put me back at the bannered mayor. That's right. Let me out of here. All right, I'm going to do a save here in case we need to bring him back here for any reason. We shouldn't need to, but just in case. Now, we should be in the Bannered Mayor and all that good stuff. Just give it a moment. Okay, there we go. <laughs> Welcome. Let me know if you need anything. Okay, so he's got the, the little hooded junk, you know. This is how he looks. So now he's using the vanilla body. So you're not going to, you know, you're just going to see that. That's him. It's not bad overall, you know. 
All right, so we use the, the miner smithing and stuff. Now, I think it said level up. Should he be leveling up? Okay, we're going to take some health. I don't know why he leveled to level 2. He hasn't done anything. Hmm, that's weird. Nonetheless, let me go first person again. Okay. Okay, some people are here. He's singing. There's Halda, and there, you know, it looked very empty a little while ago when we were doing this. So this is our test, so we're going to do a save here. We should be able to go out into White Run. I mean, this should not be a problem for us. Now I'm not going to be able. I need to need to make sure that everybody understands. I am not going to be able to test thoroughly test everything about every mod. Okay, that's just not going to happen. Um, I don't have that kind of time, and it's just it would just be impossible. That would be a huge, huge undertaking. However, hey, she's wandering around out here. However, um, what I am going to do is I'm going to do some general testing as best I can and make sure that we can travel around and, and, you know, be in town and travel from town to town and things like that. Now, to accomplish that, I'm going to do another save. I am going to use the cheat room a little bit to get around. Okay, I'm hitting the wrong thing, but I've got the right idea. So I'm going to use the cheat room a little bit. We're going to go to the... I'm going to save my current location, okay? And then we're going to go to the cheat room. Now all I'm going to do in the cheat room, really, is... Uh, this time I'm going to keep it very simple, very easy. I'm going to grab some keys. We're not going to mess with everything else. We're going to grab a couple of cheat rings. That'll help us do our business. We'll do carry weight and the god ring and the no clip. I call it no clip. I know it's actually toggle collisions, but whatever. Um, and then I'm going to actually wear I'm going to actually wear the god ring. It will just make things easier for us getting around. Does he have any weapon? All he needs is in that'll do. That'll be fine. Okay. Now, the other thing I need is to enable map markers, so I'm going to do that. Yes, enable all the map markers. Dun, dun, dun. We'll just wait a moment. Da, 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 da. We'll take a little Debella Blessing. We'll do the Lover Stone. That's fine. I'm just waiting for the map to finish updating. It's really not that big a deal. For our testing, I don't have to be I don't have to be in like dire combat or anything. Our main testing right now is just to make sure we can get around. <laughs> you know, just to make sure that we can get around and do normal things and uh, not have the game crash all the time. Okay, so that's done. I'm going to do another save here, and we're going to go back to where we came from. And close that up. Now we've got all the markers on our map. We have the key to Breeze Home. We could break in, but you know what? I'm not even going to bother. We're just going to run around. Let's make sure that we can run around White Run a little bit. There shouldn't be any issue. This is basically the vanilla game with the cheat room and what what did I leave on the cheat room, alternate start, and the patch. So there's really not much here. 
This is basically the vanilla game for all intents and purposes. So, all right. With that in mind, and with the fact that this appears to be working, let's uh, let's go. Let's make sure there's a couple of places we can go where you tend to have more trouble than others. Let's go out here towards Windhelm and down to Riften. Let's go see if there's any issues getting around. And if we're good, then what we'll do is we'll actually start testing some real mods. I just want to make sure that we can get around. This is some of the first things I usually do. Normally, if I'm going to have problems, I'm going to have problems in Windhelm and I'm going to have problems in, in and around Riften. They have the most water and other other issues, whatever their other issues are. I, I'm not even sure I understand why. But if I'm going to have a problem and have a crash, it's going to be around Windhelm or Riften, something like that. So we're just going to do a quick test here. And if as long as this is okay, which it should be, I've I've played like this lots of times before. Then we should be fine. And we'll just move on. Alright, so we're in Windhelm without any trouble. She's going to want a coin, no doubt. Let's be nice. Let's give her a coin. Oh, she's so scary. Wow, I forgot how scary she was. Okay. Oh my goodness. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> it's been a while. So now this is different than my usual map. It's not awful. It's just my map normally. I forget. I do something different on my map. I thought... Oh, you know what it is. This isn't. Okay, this is the, this is the vanilla Skyrim map. That's why it's different. Ha, 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 ha. I'm being a doof. Yeah, because I don't have my map turned on. And I don't have uh, the map in the slow order turned on. So, I kind of goofed up there. I forgot. See, I'm so, I'm so accustomed to playing with the mods all the time that when I don't have them there and turned on, it seems confusing. I had another run-in. Yeah, yeah, what about? Yeah, looking for trouble. All right. Okay, look, dude, I don't really have time to talk to you. All right, I'm done talking to you. Goodbye. Okay, so there, she's giving him trouble. Alright, so anyway, we're in good shape. So what we're going to do here... Oh, he's mad at me now because I ignored him. Ah, that's fine, I don't care. Okay, so I'm going to go back to Whiterun. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to kick off some of our mods and we're going to start testing. So I will be back in a moment. Okay, so we're here on the mod screen. Sorry, I have been eating. Um, we are going to turn on, that is the royal we. <laughs> Meaning me, myself, and I. We're going to turn on about 20 of these. Okay, that first 20, <laughs> that covers some pretty big mods and some big question marks, in my opinion. So we're going to see if we can load up even these first 20 mods and walk around Whiterun and maybe go see some other towns and walk around. It would be good to see some of the flora and the weather and hear some of these sounds. I'm not sure what this is all about. Um, I've never used this sound mod, so, you know, we'll see what we can find out. 
All right, so this is going to change everything. This is going to change a lot. Not everything. It's going to change a lot, though. These first 20 mods are a lot of stuff. So I'm going to do a reset so that this will work well or as good as it's going to, and we'll find out. Okay. So I will see you in the new configuration is stable. Okay, so I just loaded up with the first 20 mods turned on. The game at least did load. I'm going to go immersive on this. You can already see some differences. In the game from the mods that are loaded. But anyway, pardon me, sorry. Uh, <clears throat> so I am trying to just look around for a minute and see how things look. Things look okay. You know, not all those mods are on and they're not supposed to be on yet, so we're okay. So I'm going to travel around some. Now, Skyrim is Windy is on. So you notice everything moves a little bit. You know what? Let's just walk. I was going to fast travel. Let's just take a walk. Oh, well, okay, we've got... <laughs> I don't like this, uh... I don't like this thing, but we've got it. <clears throat> Let's just walk around. <clears throat> we'll do some traveling. We'll look around in some different places and see how... <clears throat> how things are. We're really just trying to make sure things work. We're not so worried about how things look. We do have the static mesh improvement turned on, but we don't have, you know, all the mods on. You notice Vivid Weather came on. Matter of fact, we might want to do, let's do a save here and do a reload in case any of the mods need us to reload. That won't take but a moment. Hmm. Okay, so RDO and immersive frame rate uh, framework needed us to do that. So that's worthwhile. So far, everything's working. So I'm going to save here. <clears throat> this will not be a bad place to start looking around. So we can walk around. Let's see, what's our guy look like? He looks like a nobody. That's fine. Conan looks like a nobody. Everything looks good, though. Oh, she's going to be talking to him about the jester. Bah, Izmir! Alright, so we could travel around this way, but we're not going to travel that way. I'm going to actually try to walk over to, um... I don't know. Maybe we should, maybe we should, uh... Fast travel to Riverwood? I'm not sure. We haven't really got the whole game loaded, so I'm not sure this is a valid test at this point. So let's just go ahead and do some fast traveling, make sure we can go to the other towns. Let's go over to Falkreath for a moment, make sure we can go there. We just want to make sure that we can pop into other towns and places and the game won't crash. I have found in the past when I have problems, now this is not going to relate to every problem, but if I have serious problems 
in the game that just traveling town to town will cause crashes, you know, problems will occur. Oh, we can hear dogs and stuff. Oh, you know what? I don't have the sound on for you. Hold on. All right. Now that we're actually doing some play testing, you need the game sound. Sorry about that. So we heard some dogs barking there. I don't know what that was all about. And here's some people. Okay. Whatever you say, dude. All right, well, these people... Okay, okay, so everything looks good here in Falkreath. Let's go out to Markarth. Now realize that we're gonna get <laughs> we're gonna get that guy, the crazy guy in the uh, marketplace. He's gonna try to kill what's her name Margaret or something like that. So we're just gonna have to kill him. These things happen. <laughs> Trolls can be found anywhere. Anywhere on the internet. Anywhere at all. Got him. Alright, we'll take all his stuff. Okay, so um, it looks like Markarth is basically okay. Let's see if we can move on. I want to get away and see if that guy will not talk to me. I'm moving. I'm moving. You you keep, you handle things from here. Go ahead. So anyway, it looks like Markarth is okay. The water, everything is working. Not having any stutter, tra a crash, or anything. What do you need? I don't need anything. I'm leaving. Oh, there's the blacksmith. Scarier than ever. Alright, so we're able to get around. That's pretty good. So let's go to one of the smaller places, like Karth Waston. Let's see. I think this is a, that little mining place, ain't it? But let's just go pop around a few places. You know, if every... You know, what I'm looking for is to find out where's that crash that keeps me from loading in, from, keeps me from going into White Run or going into wherever. Because before, I couldn't even come out of the Bannered Mare. So there had to be some conflict or some problem. Alright, I'm just going to let them go. I'm not going to bother with them. Let's go up to, we'll go see Rodvir's execution real fast. See how things are going there. Again, now this isn't going to test every single little thing of every mod, okay? But I found in the past that a good way to at least get a star in your testing is just to turn, turn a few mods on. Now normally you wouldn't do like 150 or 146, whatever we have here all at once. Normally you'd turn, you know, you would load a few mods at a time and try them out, you know. But in this case, you know, this is the way we're going to do it. Oh, am I too close? Hold on, I forgot. I you can get in trouble if you if you're too close. I forgot. <laughs> They're giving me the evil eyes, like get away from here. See the windy everything is everything is moving. It says it's doing this without causing any frame rate issue. I don't know, it's possible I guess. It sounded it sounded wrong, but Boo <laughs> Oh, the bloody chop. 
Chop, chop, chop. Let them walk away. Am I too close again? Oh my goodness. You guys, move on. Wait till the crowd disappears. There we go. Everybody walk away. Here, I'll give you an hour. Move. Y'all have stood around and looked at a body for an hour. Really? <laughs> All right. So anyway, everything looks good here. I don't feel any problems. And... I don't know, I heard something weird. Anyway, um... Now, I've never used that Sounds of Skyrim, so if it has weird sounds, I just don't know. I don't recognize it. Being old's not so bad. Well, it's better than the alternative. That's what we always say. You'd much rather see yourself get old than just flop over dead. At least gives you a chance to enjoy some things. Let's go in here and aggravate them for a moment. It, it pays to just sort of play around for a few minutes. You know, this is this is not a serious testing, okay? But this is this is kind of rough. Just let's make sure we can walk around, go in and out of some doors. You know, if you can't get the game to load certain things or do certain things, then then there is a problem for sure. But if you can run around and talk to people and they all talk to each other and everything looks good, then that's not too bad. It's Eriker! Bolger! Lord have mercy, dude. Take a bath already. Wow. And you too. Do something. Wow. All right. Let's get out of here. So I'll quit making fun of them. And their hygiene, or lack thereof. <laughs> I'm sorry, I like to take a shower every day. I like to be clean. It's just me. It's just the way I am. So, but now, wait, just a minute. I want you to notice, though. See, Skyrim is windy. Things are working. Things are windy. Let's go out to, let's see, where have we not been? We have not been to Dawnstar. We could drop by out there. Oh, actually, though, I know what we should do. We should go back to White Run. <clears throat> and then we should go ahead and start initiate a test on the next, the next set of mods. See, what I'm doing is I'm trying to find, I'm trying to test until I find an error and then try to figure out what the error is. Now that uh, can be difficult. Um, but it depends on what it is. We're talking about a crash. Usually if you can't load into a place because of a crash, you can usually narrow it down. It takes a while, but... Oh, we're getting some rain. Vivid Weathers is working. Okay. This is just the you know, this is just the vanilla water and it doesn't look too bad. Relatively speaking, of course. Hi Imsker, how you doing, buddy? Are you enjoying the rain? Why is his mouth not moving? Oh wow. Okay. I'm sorry. That was that was horribly scary to me. <laughs> okay. So this seems all right. Let's try the next set of mods. Like I said, I'm just trying to do a rough, you know, down and dirty bit of testing, and then we can do more detailed testing later. I'm going to turn these off because I'm not going to use any of those. Did I just do a save? I think I did. All right. Yes, I did. I was just looking at this, and I did a save. Okay. So... Let's just go and turn on the next 20 mods. I, I think we can take you along for the ride to turn them on. 
And then, well, I don't know if Bethesda will cooperate, though. It's been being kind of a booger today. Half the time it won't let me in, so we'll see. If it'll let me in pretty quickly, then I'll, I'll do that. Because all we need to do is turn on the next 20 mods, and then I'll have to uh, go do a reset. Actually, yeah, there's no point in you sitting through all that, so I'll be back. Alright, consider yourself warned. This is the shield. Please subscribe to the channel and watch more videos. I mean, what else are you going to do with your time? It's either this or take a nap. And don't be saying you're napping down in the comments.